Hi, I'm Naomi Butler with the Naomi Butler Show, and this is my YouTube channel, and I'm going to start a series of my art story, and today I'm going to just kind of give you my bio. This bio is not including everything about me, so it's kind of a, just in a nutshell, what I'm about as an artist, and I am a self-taught artist. I've never formally gone to school for this. I have taken some online courses and just wanted to better myself. So I've looked at hundreds, probably more than that, of videos on YouTube. I have some artists I follow. I love watching their videos. And as artists, we, we just do that. We watch a lot of painting videos just sometimes to get ideas or just because we love art. And I am known for using color and style and texture and different techniques. I have played around with all kinds of techniques. So I use a lot of different things to create my abstract art paintings. And there's rich hues, there's different values that capture the beauty of the contemporary creations that that I am painting currently. And some of the new artwork series have titles that relate to my life experiences that I've gone through in the last three years. I've had two bouts of cancer. And so two of these are Giving God the Glory, which that one right there behind me is the beginning of that series. I just one morning at about 2 a.m., I was just crying out to God, and I just got the paints out. This was in the first round of cancer, and it just happened. And then from that, I realized I wanted to start a new series of Giving God the Glory, and it has a range of light to dark and just lots of different values, and you can see that on my Instagram, at Naomi.Butler. And another one is Pushing Through. I have two paintings that I started last year before the second bout of cancer. And I started pushing through some of those paintings and they are a little bit different. They're kind of a reflection, if you will, in the painting and they are not done, neither one of them. I started them last year. So sometimes we have paintings that we start and we never finish or we finish a whole lot later. So I've got to get back to those. The newest series that I'm working on is called Color Song. I love color. I love music. And so it's a mixture of those two collaborations that I love. And I'm, I'm just so grateful to be able to be back to painting. A very close friend of mine who is a very high-end registered interior designer asked me at the beginning of my art career, he asked me this one question, and this is what I would pass along to every artist. What do you want your art to say about you? And I spent a lot of time thinking about that because I was just having fun and I thought I want my art to say that. I want it to show that I'm having fun and that's still an answer. And so after a lot of thinking through the answers, it's just real simple. I'm all about helping people. So I want my paintings to give help and encouragement to others. And that's even why I have the YouTube channel. I just love to create to bring rays of hope to others through those brush strokes on my paintings. Art has become my therapy and the paintings speak to me and then in turn inspire others and they may speak to me in a different way than they do you as a viewer. They may, you may see something different in it than I painted or that I thought I was painting. It doesn't matter, but it connects with that viewer and that owner in a unique way. It's just so awesome when someone says, your painting spoke to me. The other day I had a painting that sold before I was even through because it spoke to her where it was. And so that's kind of the... I think it's just one of the awesomeness things of being an artist when somebody just loves your art and it speaks to them in a certain way. I do have other artwork series. One is titled Subtle Hints. It's real wispy and soft, and it was inspired by a potential client's ideas. 
they ended up buying art from someone else. But when I asked them lots of questions, the couple told me what they were wanting. And I thought, I'm going to create something along that line. And when I did, it was so unique and I loved it. And so subtle hints, if you go back to my Instagram, you're going to see a few different ones that I painted. And I only have, I think, two of those left. And then my Choices series pair together in a great way using lots of texture and a reverse effect where you see unique and exciting patterns and it's just a lot of randomness in the design. And these are 48 by 36 paintings paired together creating a diptych. And so together it's a four by six painting and it just adds a lot of color boost to the wall and probably a, a good one for a medium to large wall. And I only have one of those paired diptychs left. I'm going to be painting some more of those. In fact, I have one I've got to paint for my daughter in Arizona because the navy one disappeared and she loved that one. So I've got to paint one for her, but on a little bit smaller scale. And as with most of my art now, every painting has probably 12 to 15 layers. When I first started, it was one layer. I didn't know to create depth with layers. So that you will see in some of my story that I will post. Eventually I'll have more of my, my art story on there. When you turn abstract art in different ways, like if you hang it vertically and then you want to hang it horizontally, you get a whole new look. And a lot of my paintings, I wire them so that they can hang either way. And also one thing that I'm going to pass along to you is if you just rearrange the art you have and buy new art a little here at a time, your whole atmosphere changes and it looks new all the time because you're rearranging, you're adding new art in the mix. So that's something that you want to think about as an art buyer, art lover. And that's, I think, one of the amazing aspects of abstract is that each person does see something different in the artwork. And that just keeps it so interesting. I am never for, formally trained. I, I guess you could say it's a natural talent that has evolved. It just happened. It's a God thing that it happened. And how it happened is so unique. I'll share that in another video, but it just keeps evolving and becomes more complex with all the different layers and the depth of each new painting. My focus is to have fun and you're going to see that in my art and express through the colors, the compositions, the textures. I love texture. So some of mine might have a little bit of texture and some of them might have a whole lot of texture. I love experimenting with color and texture and then just, I've just developed a style that's uniquely my own. Even though the series may be different on their own, but I have a style that is just fun. I just love to paint. I love a challenge. I'm always excited to see what that next painting is going to be. And uh, you can follow my journey on my YouTube channel, The Naomi Butler Show. You can also see some of the new paintings and some of the things that go along on my Instagram, Naomi.Butler. I'm also on Facebook and LinkedIn. And so I just wanted to give you a little short bio that may not have been too short, but that's just a little bit about me where I am right now. And I will continue to share my art story on more videos. Thank you so much. Have fun painting.